What up, food fanatics? It's your boy, Bobby, coming back at you with some crazy healthy, delicious, and easy to make meal prep that will totally get you through the holiday season, the New Year's, or heck, anytime you wanna eat really clean, healthy, delicious food. Because today we are making Italian spiced chicken breast, pan seared and roasted in the oven with a Pomodoro sauce, pearl barley risotto that's loaded with tons of vegetables and is the healthiest whole grain you could possibly make, and a big old bunch of spinach that is sauteed with garlic and olive oil. If you guys support my channel and love my meal prep recipes, hook a brother up and subscribe to my channel. Plus, this video is part of a holiday collaboration that is benefiting some great charities. The info is below and I'll talk more about it later, but let's get our meal prep on. Now, the healthiest meal prep ever starts with five chicken breasts right here in front of me. Now, check them out. I had them butterfly, which means they're opened like a book. And the beauty of doing that is they cook quicker and more evenly. But let's remember these are white meat chicken breasts, which mean they need lots of love in the flavor department. So shocker, Bobby's gonna make an Italian spice rub that is gonna be so good and get nice and crusty in the pan. In the bowl in front of me, I have one teaspoon each of onion and garlic powder. To that, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of dried thyme and a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes and one teaspoon of paprika. A simple spice rub, yes it is, but it's gonna add so much flavor, and you guys know the drill. When this chicken hits the hot pan later on, it's gonna make an amazing crust, and you just can't get that with a wet marinade. To season our chicken breast, let's grab some salt and give a healthy pinch. A couple cracks of pepper, and then be generous and douse this guy with the spice rub. Now when I flip the chicken over here, you can see how when it's a butterfly, it's just so much thinner and it has much more surface area. But don't do this at home. It'll take you too long and heck, ask your butcher really nice and they will do this for you. If they give you attitude, you tell them, hey, go fuck yourself. You know what I'm doing? I'm doing meal prep. Hook me up, buddy. And they will. And then a little more salt, pepper, and spice rub on the other side. Now, if you don't know the drill, let me break it down for you. These guys are gonna sit at room temperature for 20 minutes because we never, ever, ever cook cold chicken in a hot pan because number one, it cooks unevenly. Or that would be number one. And number two, it's gonna be very tough. So if you can count one and two, you can do this. In the meantime, let's make our pearl barley risotto. Now, normally when you think risotto, you'd think rice, but this is crazy healthy meal prep. Rice is high in starch and has almost no nutritional value. My friends, let me introduce you to pearl barley. This is a whole grain that's high in fiber and antioxidants, which makes this the healthiest risotto in town. In front of me, I have a big old pot of water. To that, I'm gonna add a big pinch of salt and then go in with a cup and a quarter of pearl barley. We're gonna boil this for about 15 minutes, so it's about halfway cooked. Then we'll finish it risotto style. So while this is boiling, let's start our aromatics for the base of the risotto. I'm preheating a large pan over medium heat. I'm gonna reach for some olive oil and hit it up with about two tablespoons. And then go in with some onions, carrots, and celery. Normally, I wouldn't put carrots in risotto, but since we're making crazy healthy meal prep, I'm gonna get my vegetables any way I can take them. Now, add about half a teaspoon of salt to the pan, a couple cracks of pepper, and one teaspoon of dried thyme. Give it a mix up and let it cook for about seven minutes until the onions start to soften up. Now I'm gonna reach for three cloves of garlic that have been finely minced. You guys have noticed that almost all my meal prep is really healthy. This recipe, extremely healthy, but I wanna know how you guys eat healthy. So leave a comment below, let me know your favorite vegetables to sneak into recipes and what you do when you wanna eat really clean. The barley has been cooking for 20 minutes. Let's grab it off the stove and drain it. Now it's time for the risotto. The garlic was cooking for three minutes. It's nice and soft. Let's grab our drained barley and add all that to the pan. Give it a quick little stir, and then we're gonna add some hot chicken stock to the pan. So now we're gonna cook this exactly like risotto. Keep it over medium, medium low heat, and keep stirring every one or two minutes, and keep adding more chicken stock every time the current batch evaporates. And by cooking it this way, my friends, we're gonna have the most creamy, velvety risotto ever. Now just after a minute, get in here. Look in that pan. It's time to add more chicken stock, and you can actually see it's getting a little creamy already. Now, if you've heard legends and tales about old Italian grandmas telling you, you cannot stop stirring the pot, or you have to go counterclockwise. No, make that clockwise. Don't listen to any of that. Just make sure you monitor the liquid levels and you stir it every 30 seconds to 60 seconds. You'll be fine. I moved the risotto station to the back, so somebody remind me to mix that every minute or so, because now we gotta get our chicken cooking and in the oven. So I'm preheating a large cast iron pan over medium high heat. 
I'm gonna add about a tablespoon or two of olive oil. Now, if you preheat your pan properly, the chicken is gonna make this noise when it goes in. Perfect, it's starting to caramelize and sear immediately. Now, it's really important that we don't overcrowd that pan. So I'm only doing three of the five now. After these are done, I'll swap them out. Because if I just jam all five in there like a chicken coop, they're not gonna crust, they're not gonna sear, they're actually gonna boil in their juices and it pretty much defeats the purpose of what we're doing in the first place. And that's exactly what you wanna see. Nice caramelization, good crust. We'll go one more minute on this side, then we'll evacuate the dance floor. Let's quickly check our risotto. Getting nice and creamy. I think we could add a little more chicken stock. Just keep stirring it up. Let's take these chicken breasts out of the pan. And these guys are still completely raw on the inside. We're gonna finish them in the oven, which by the way, you should be preheating at 400 degrees. Let's get the second batch of chicken in the pan. This guy's a big one. And no joke, as soon as that chicken hits the pan, the spice rub with the onion and garlic powder is making this house smell like an Italian trattoria. Que bono, amico! Let's transfer the seared chicken to a baking dish. Fits like a glove. Now see these juices here? Don't you think about pouring those down the sink? They're going in the dish also. Now I'm gonna grab some marinara sauce. Now if you want, you could buy store-bought, and hey, this is a judgment-free zone, no worries. Or you can make my homemade marinara sauce that's ready in 30 minutes. You make the sauce by cooking onions, garlic, and carrots in extra virgin olive oil, adding a bunch of Italian tomatoes, and I like to finish off the sauce with a little touch of honey. That helps balance the acidity of the tomatoes perfectly. Now make it rain marinara sauce from the heavens all up on this chicken. It's gonna add so much flavor. Jiggle it around a little bit. I think we have a few nooks and cranny that need more. Now normally, I would get up in this chicken's business with a big old handful of mozzarella cheese. And yes, that would be delicious, but because this is crazy healthy meal prep, I'm gonna grab some Pecorino Romano cheese. Because it's aged, it has way less fat than mozzarella, and you really don't need much of it because it has a strong flavor and just use a grater and give a nice generous amount over all the chicken. And the beauty of using one of these fine microplane graters is that it does a really small grate of the cheese and makes kind of a snow shower. So you're actually using less, even though it looks like more. Check out the link below because I zest all my citrus with this and grate all my cheese. Honestly, one of my top five tools in the kitchen. All right, so the marinara sauce is gonna keep our chicken moist and add more flavor. The cheese is gonna make it cheese-tastic. Now this chicken goes in a 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes. All right, let's bring our risotto back into the spotlight here and get in this pan. Check that out. The risotto has like doubled in size. It's looking crazy creamy. All right, now to make the flavors pop and put this barley risotto over the top, I'm gonna add about the zest of half a lemon and grate in some Pecorino Romano cheese. And finally, I like to make my food pop with color. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley. All right, so cooking the risotto in the pan took about 25 minutes. I think we need to do a little bit of quality control to make sure everything's up to snuff around here. Mm. Risotto said, what? That barley is al dente. It still has a little bite to it, just like a risotto rice grain would. All the vegetables add so much flavor and a little bit of that cheese and lemon zest are making the flavors on leak. That's awesome. You guys, this chicken is smelling legit. I wish you had smell-o-vision, but come on, get in this pan. Look at that chicken. And this only took 20 minutes to cook. And the reason why is because I had the butcher butterfly it. Like I said, a huge time saver. Now, the only thing left to do is make my spinach with garlic and olive oil because, hey, if it's good enough for Popeye the Sailor Man and it makes his biceps monstrous, it sure as hell is good enough for us. Plus, I've been making it for years. It's so good. This is how you do it. Add a shot of olive oil to a large pot and go in with five garlic cloves that are finely minced and a quarter teaspoon of a red pepper flakes. Add a couple handfuls of spinach and cook it for a couple minutes so it wilts down and then add the rest of the spinach on top of that. Cook that for seven to 10 minutes over medium high heat until it cooks all the way down. Season it with a squeeze of lemon juice, a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt, a couple cracks of fresh pepper, give it a mix up and you're all done. You guys, there is so much flavor in here. Just do me one favor, make sure your significant other is eating this too, because there's so much garlic in there. If they don't, they ain't gonna kiss you for days. All right, I've got my meal prep containers ready to go, which by the way, a lot of you guys are asking me where I get them. I'll put the link below to Amazon. I love these glass meal prep. I think they're much better and safer than the plastic ones. 
You guys, check out this healthy Italian feast in front of me. And look, it literally is the colors of the Italian flag. And no, I swear, I did not mean to do it, but I love it when that kind of stuff happens. Let's grab some chicken. And look how juicy that is, perfectly cooked. Tuck that in the corner. Grab some risotto, add that to the middle. And then a good amount of spinach and tuck that in. And when you make it, post it on social media and tag Flav City because I love seeing all the creations you guys made. Now I think we should probably do a little more quality control and cut into this chicken because I am drooling. Tastes like chicken parmesan. This is making the cut. <laughs> <laughs> that was my happy dance. You know what? A lot of people think Italian food can't be healthy, but you know what? You're wrong because this is healthy and delicious. Guys, the recipe is below. Check it out. Also subscribe to my channel because I have new meal prep recipes every Friday morning. Also make sure you check out the holiday collaboration. The playlist is down below. We're also raising money for amazing charities. If you want to see more meal prep, I'm going to hook you up with the videos below me, but I will see you next week. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Later.